Ethan, uh, congratulations on your first first team goal. Um, it's been such a crazy couple of weeks for you. I mean, to score a big goal in a El Trafico match, the winning goal, you know, you getting engaged. Um, you know, just talk about these past couple of weeks for you and what this means. Yeah, um, definitely had a lot of good things in my life going on, especially capping it off with today. Um, yes, I would love to shout out my amazing fiance now. Um, that was a great day, obviously, and it's been building up for a long time. So to Katie, I love you so much. Um, and then just in preparation for today, the whole team has been awesome. I mean, I couldn't even say, you know, individual names today because literally everyone on the field was just putting in so much work. So for me to get a goal, it was a product of the whole team just being amazing from every position on the field. I could, I could go name by name. It was just, it was an awesome day and it made it a, very easy for me. Um, so, I mean, I'm ecstatic to have scored the first goal um, in my career. Um, but I just want to shout out my whole team too because they made it all possible. The next question for Damian Cahoon. Damian, go ahead. Hey, uh, Ethan, um, congrats on the goal. Uh, how big is this win for you guys? I mean, coming off coming off the game last month in, in Florida, you guys lost 6-2. How big is it for you guys to get your first win against LAFC? And also, what was the attitude like after that game um, in Florida? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, there's a lot that went into it for sure. Um, this was obviously the first win of the season. Um, it's amazing to do it against our rival. Um, but I think it's just been building up for a while. I think that the mentality after Orlando was that we know that we have the right tools to do great things. Um, and so everyone got together and really just made an, made an effort to, to train even harder and to try to be a group. And that's what I think we saw out there today. Everyone was a team. Um, you know, the LAFC game in Orlando, I think we had to look, take a long, hard look in the mirror, you know, and, and realize some things that we had to, to do as a team. Um, and individually, I think every guy has just stepped up. Um, and it hurt a lot in Orlando, for sure. Um, it, was a, it was a tough time to, you know, go over there for that much time and to come out with not the results that we wanted. Um, so today's win, I mean, the vibe in the locker room was amazing. I mean, we're ecstatic and we're just, we're just hungry for more games now. It's just hopefully the start of, uh, of some great things. Next question is for Larry Morgan. Larry, go ahead. Hey, hey Ethan, uh, congratulations, great goal. Um, you know, where's this kind of performance been? It's been a long time since the Galaxy played this well. Uh, where's this kind of performance been? Yeah. Um, I just think that, you know, this, what this team needed was a little bit of a fire under there, but, um, you know, I think that the, the talents here and we have just so many good players, um, but we just needed something to kick us in the gear. Unfortunately, I mean, I, <laughs> it's unfortunate that it had to be that way, but I would say that it's, it's just been a long time coming and there's just, had to be something that needed to motivate us to do that. And I think now that we've got that first win and now that we know what we're capable of, and, and we've been seeing it in practice too, it was so frustrating that we know what we can do in practice. And it's just, it just finally came out in the game. Um, and I think everything just hit all at the right time and we just came out hungrier than ever. And I think that this will hopefully be a trend now for the next couple of games. Next question is for Sophie Nicolo. Sophie, your line's unmuted. Hey there, how are you? Great goal and fantastic game for you today. Um, where I come from, we call that Roy of the Rovers stuff to come from LA Galaxy 2 and then into the main team and then to have the kind of performance you did today is just wonderful to, wonderful to see. Do you think um, that the team has a different mental attitude in that maybe MLS really is back now um, versus the Orlando tournament? Um, do you think that based, especially on the team's pedigree, um, M M L MLS and winning MLS Cup? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was hard being over there in Orlando for sure, the mentality. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's probably one of the hardest parts of the game is mentality, um, especially knowing the uncertainty of this year. There's so much going on and we, we obviously didn't know how the league was going to look coming, coming forward after that whole tournament. Um, with a little bit more certainty, for sure, it makes us feel a little more comfortable knowing what we have ahead of us. 
Um, but I do think that for future reference, we know that no matter what the circumstances are, we need to be ready for anything. Um, whether it be something internally, something externally, I, I just think we need to be ready. Um, was it difficult? Yes, but it was difficult for every team. So we need to be prepared for, for anything in the future. Thank you. Then we have time for a couple more. Giovanni Garcia, go ahead. Hi, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Um, so you, you scored your, your goal off a of, off of free kick, uh, I mean, off a of set play. Is that something that you guys went into uh, knowing that LAFC had given up goals off of set plays? Yeah, I think there was a little bit of an emphasis on it before. Um, we knew that we have, you know, big bodies in the box from me, uh, Rolf, Stairs, uh, Depew, um, and we knew that, you know, sometimes they've had lapses um, on set pieces. Um, so there was definitely an emphasis on it in training. Um, it was just, but it was one of the many things that we worked on. I say that there was just a lot of preparation going into this game and that definitely being one of them. I think this was one of the most intense weeks of training that we've ever had. Um, and I think for good reason. So yes, we, we were focused on set pieces. Adam Serrano, your line's unmuted. Ethan, can you uh, kind of elaborate on that? Are you, you know, a lot of the guys really said they hadn't necessarily been feeling a lot of pressure. Do you think that this team has kind of felt a lot of pressure? And for you, you know, how much do you think the Orlando tournament and this past year has kind of helped your development? You know, you had that one play at the very end uh, against Houston. Maybe you should have scored there. Have you been thinking about that? Did you kind of feel like, okay, well, when I get my chances, I need to put them in the back of the net? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, to, to answer your first part of your question, I do think that, uh, I mean, instantaneously playing for the Galaxy, I mean, obviously the best historically team in the league. Um, so there's, there's a sense of pride that you have to take in it. And I mean, I guess you can call it pressure, but it's definitely just, you know, the pride that you have to take in fulfilling, you know, that destiny. But I would say personally, yes, in Orlando, um, you know, I thought I had a lot of good moments in that game in Orlando, but obviously not last black. And I would go back to that play a million times in my head, wishing that I had done something different. Um, and today I just went in with the mentality that hey, I have the ability to score goals. I know that I can. And basically I want to make up for everything that I could, that I could have done against, against Houston. And we were able to come out with a, with a tie of that game. So if we, were, we can come out with a tie of that game, with you know a, a mistake or some mistakes I made that I figured we can start winning games 